Hi, welcome at uh, Mastership Tutorial Videos. This time we are going to explain you something about nesting parts. So let's get started. Um, here we have AutoCAD with our Mastership installation. On the left side of our screen we have a set of plates and on the right side we have a group of parts and those are the parts we want to nest into the plates. Um, all the parts they already have their water lines, markings, uh, inner contours, outer contours and their ID block. Um, so they are ready for nesting. So to do this we go to the NC tab of Mastership. Here you can see all the NC related commands. And the first step will be to prepare the parts and the plates for nesting. So we go to prepare to nest. Um, this command asks you to select all the parts and plates. So let's do it. And after confirming with enter it will generate all the required nesting contours. Right, all the nesting contours are made. Uh, the program asks if it can turn off the layers which will not be used anymore. OK, so all we see now are the required nesting contours. So we can start with nesting. Uh, we have uh, roughly two options. We have semi-automatic nesting and we have automatic nesting. Uh, in this case we will choose for automatic nesting because it's the most easy one. Um, it has several options. You can nest all plates at the same time. You can uh, nest one plate at a time and we have specific options to do a quick nest or to uh, nest the last plate because in that case you want to have as, uh, a big as much uh, remnant plate as possible. In this case we will choose for one plate at a time. You will have to select all the plates and the parts and confirm it enter again. As you can see the program starts with putting the small brackets and parts into the manholes of the bigger parts and after that it will start with putting the parts inside the specific plates and it will start with the biggest part in the corner and work its way to the center with the smaller parts until each plate is completely filled and then it will continue with the next plate. Okay, now the nesting is done we still see the nesting contours so we can stop the nesting now and then it will change back the uh, layer contours to the normal situation All right um, but as we see now it still looks a bit crowded because of those ID blocks so let's turn off those ID blocks, go to the home tab, turn off the part data and the part text layer and um, to have the IDs nicely visible and that uh, they are able to be printed on top of the plates we have a specific command to do that um, this command is also available in the NC tab and it's uh, create rebuild text. So when we select it we have to select all the parts and this way we press enter and then we have several options. We only want to have the part text and the part IDs or both. And Boat we choose for this case. Um, put part the ID text instead of part data blocks. Yes, and also the production unit. No, that's not needed. 
This will take a few seconds. And as you can see, now all the IDs are nicely fitted onto the parts so they can be marked on top of the parts when they are cut. So this was all for of making nestings. Thanks for watching and see you in our uh, next tutorial video.